Thanks, Melinda. Well, as a kind of tradition that we have created here on the Coast to Coast to Coast <laughs> series is I did a little bit of research on the kind of historic uh, story behind every province and territory. And as I was researching about the territories, as I fast forwarded into what is uh, the North kind of known for and identified as uh, within our Canadian landscape, uh, the unfortunate part was that issues were surfacing or an unknown of really who is this like North? And I thought this is really interesting because this unknown reminded me of the nameless woman who is known in the Bible as the woman of the issue of blood. And despite all of her positive qualities, despite uh, you know anything positive that could be said about her, she was defined by problems, by her problem and by her pain. And it, her response was really, you know, we've heard this preached so many different times. If I just touch the cloak of Jesus, if I would just touch the garment, the edge of his garment, or what historically would have been a tassel at the end of his garment, if I touch that, I would access his authority as healer. I would receive his promise and her hope was received, but she needed boldness to receive that hope. And Jesus could have just left it at that. He could have just left her miracle at that. But he asked and stopped the crowds and said, who touched me? Because power left him and entered her and then impacted the, the crowd. So he saw her, he loved her, and now he wanted to hear her confess in the middle of that moment what happened. And so I am just so inspired by the stories of these women who have literally encountered the power of the living Christ and, and sharing and confessing to their communities that, that he lives and he's active today. And the work that Jody and Amy and Livia and others like them and within their community are doing in the North is actually redefining a story mm -hmm. so that the North would not be defined by issues. We're, we're actually listening, hearing, and leaning into the story of healing and power unleashed from heaven to an a never ending supply of spiritual blessings, like it says in Ephesians. And so I'm super encouraged by the, the actually this show is one of my favorite shows. You know, you know we're not supposed to be having favorites now. I do, because <laughs> I feel like it was, it's groundbreaking. I feel mm -hmm. like it, there's, there's an attention that needs to be uh, both in prayer and in just a knowledge to what is happening in the North. Mm -hmm. And so as we are, this is our, our final one, but my goodness, my goodness, this, God is up to something literally in our nation from coast to coast to coast.